What is up, you guys? It is Mikey, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat video. But it is not MK11 today. No, I decided to do a classic tower in MKX because today I am doing a Q&A for you guys. I asked you guys to submit questions a long time ago, and I never really got around to doing it, so I'm going to do it right after these intros play. You're done, Melina. You betray me, too. I prefer the winning side. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have not played in like years. So I'm so rusty. Please forgive me. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first question I have is when did you start playing Mortal Kombat? Um, I started playing Mortal Kombat when Mortal Kombat 9 was out. Um, it had been out for a little bit already, but it was my very first Mortal Kombat game. My main was Sonya. And then I really, really got into it when MKX came out, which is why I decided to play MKX for you today. I um, also started out playing with Sonya and MKX. Look how terrible I'm doing. Oh my gosh. I also started playing out with uh, Sonya and MKX. But um, there's a YouTuber I uh, really love named Lossy Girl. She... Um, so she like uploaded some video playing with Melina and I fell in love with Melina's gameplay. So I picked her up and I, you guys, I was so good with Melina. You probably you can't tell right now, but I was literally so good with Melina. Like everybody hated me. I had never gotten more hate comments in my whole entire life, except when I played with Melina and MKX. So... Um, but it started off with Mortal Kombat 9, maybe 2012, 13, and then it really started MKX. Okay, uh, the next question is, I actually get this question every single day, I kid you not. Who is your favorite Mortal Kombat character? If you guys <laughs> couldn't tell, Melina is my favorite Mortal Kombat character. Um, that come, that should come to, as no surprise to anybody. I use her the absolute most, but a very close second, I would say is Scarlet. I don't know why I fell in love with Scarlet too. She was DLC for Mortal Kombat 9. Um, I also tried playing with her a little bit in Mortal Kombat 9 also. I also played with Sindel in Mortal Kombat 9. I wasn't very good, but, um, I do really love Melina. I really do love Scarlet. So I think they have to be my top two, but of course you guys know Melina steals number one. And I honestly, I'm not sure if it's just cause I like her personality, but I don't know. I just, I fuck with Melina. I just love her so much. She is my all time favorite. And I think I love what I love the most about the community that I have right now is I think we all share love for Melina. Um, so, uh, I mean, Melina armies are so crazy. Like I don't have Twitter anymore, but I would always see, um, all the like bring Melina back posts, uh, when MK 11 came out. Um, I'm thank God they actually listened, but, um, yeah, man, I still am in love with Melina. I will always be in love with Melina. You guys do not know when um, Combat Pack 2 got released and I saw Melina in the uh, CG trailer. I nut like I literally cried. It was probably the highlight of my <laughs> year. <laughs> so, um, yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt, Melina. So. <laughs> All right, um, to continue on, who is your least favorite Mortal Kombat character? Honestly, this is tricky because I feel like it's tied between either Kano or Devora. Um, they're both just extremely problematic and they're both like hella betrayers. Um, and they both have betrayed Melina. I feel like all of these kind of are going to link back up to Melina as well. Like I almost said Kotal Khan just because he like, literally stepped in. Like nobody asked him to step in and steal Melina's throne. But I feel like without Devora, she was a huge enabler. Also, Kano. I just don't like either of them. But if I had to pick between either Kano or Devora, I feel like I would absolutely say Devora. Um, she also killed Melina in this game, so I don't know. I freaking um, can't stand Devora fighting against her in either games. So, I mean, yeah, I honestly think it might be Devora. She's just a bitch. She's a bitch. <laughs> 
All right, the next question is, what made you decide to start uploading your gameplay? This is a really good question, actually, and I talked about this um, once before on a Twitch live stream that I did. Um, a while back, I was in my room, I was home alone, and I got matched up with my favorite Mortal Kombat YouTuber. His name is Super. And this is before Melina came out. My main was Scarlet. And I beat him three times. And he beat me twice. We did a um, a game of five. And I was so shook that I had beat him. And then he uploaded our gameplay to his channel. I, could, I still watch the video sometimes. And he told me... Well, he said it in the video that I was really good. So once that happened, I was like, you know what? I probably should start you know uploading my own content and you know a lot of my friends in my um, hometown always tell me also as well like why don't you stream why don't you stream and I never really thought that anybody would want to watch me um just because you know I can only use a certain amount of characters but I am so incredibly incredibly grateful for the you know community that I've built all of you guys are amazing as cliche as it sounds but yeah I think that was the defining moment I did get matched up with super one other time and I got my ass whooped by him he used uh Sindel and you guys know Sindel is a super good character so but yeah I think once I beat super that first time I beat him three times I literally was dying like I called my mom freaking out I was like mom you're not gonna believe what happened to me I'm like you know that youtuber I always watch like every single day before I bed she's like yeah I, was like, I just got matched up with him and I won three times like I literally could not believe it so super shout out to you you totally inspired me to start uploading my own gameplay so yeah that is totally why i decided i decided to start streaming Alrighty, next one is what is your opinion on the recent mortal kombat movie um i was actually very excited to see this movie you guys are not gonna believe it all of my friends once the trailer uh got like released all my friends were was sending it to me They're like let's go together i know you love this movie i know you want to see it i was so excited my brother was so excited um I wasn't sure what to expect with it. I've seen like some of the classic ones like from the 90s. Um, it was a good movie. I actually do like the movie. I feel like they could have done a lot more. Um, you know, I like the story um, that they chose to go with, like the tournament. I do think the tournament like was a little generic. I feel like it would have been so much more exciting if they like made the movie based on like a outworld civil war like we see in this uh, game and or even if we, they did MK11 with like you know the time merging. Um, I feel like the uh, outworld wars would be like more entertaining. But um, yeah, I liked the movie. If I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give it, like, a 7. I love that they included Melina. Um, I forgot what uh, Homeboy's name is. Um, the new guy. What was his name? Um, oh, I forgot. He was super hot, though, but um, still. <laughs> um, yeah, I give it a 7. But, yeah, it was pretty good. I feel like they could have done a lot more. But, you know, it's a Mortal Kombat movie. Like, you know, it is what it is but yeah it was pretty good i liked it oh yeah cole, cole young was his name cole young yeah cole young was cute shout out to cole um all right <laughs> would you rather be sub-zero or scorpion Ooh, that's a really interesting question you know i grew up loving the x-men and i used to love um pyro versus um iceman or whatever if i had to choose between having fire abilities and ice I feel like, oh, that's actually super tricky. I don't know. That's actually really a tough one. Maybe fire, just because I hate cold weather. So I could like, you know, just be warm all the time. I feel like that's not that exciting of an answer. I actually would love to have ice powers also. But I feel like you know if it really came down to like battling i feel like ice is gonna like totally demolish or fire is totally going to demolish ice like i don't know so i guess i would have to say that i'd rather be scorpion
As you know, the Mortal Kombat 11 game is fully complete. Who would you have liked to see in seen in Combat Pack 3? That's a very good question. Um, I don't really like the way the roster looks. The shape is a little bit OCD, one, two, three for me. So I would have loved, it was loved, it was like a perfect rectangle, um, like MK9. But I totally would have loved to see Tanya, just for selfish reasons. It really wouldn't make sense, but you know, it's Mortal Kombat. Not everything makes sense in this game. Um, also, Takeda, I really liked Takeda and his story in MKX, so I feel like that would have been awesome, and they would have made him look so dope. Like, that would have been like everything to me. Um, also, Ermac, I actually really love Ermac. Can you imagine? And then, yeah, Ermac for sure, because you get a nice visual like that brand new skin you see in the crypt when he falls out of the sky i feel like they wasted like a character like they made him they put him in the game but they couldn't like make him playable um i was gonna say chronica but you know if you're like a titan like that like it's gonna be really like redundant if like someone like sonia like literally kills her like it just doesn't make that much sense to me but like I said, like recently, like, or previously, you know, Mortal Kombat games don't really make a lot of sense anyways. Um, so if I had to pick somebody else, I would say, hmm, yeah, that's a really good question. I want to pick one more. Maybe Reptile. I feel like you also see him in the crypt. They could have made him look super, super dope. Those uh, Reptile Combat Pack skins, or uh, not Combat Pack, Combat League skins were also super epic, so I would say either Ermac, Takeda, or Reptile, or all three. I think that would have been also really good. Maybe a female one, maybe Serena or Lee Mei. Um, you guys know I love female fighters, so yeah, maybe all of those. I feel like, wait, is it five that would make a perfect rectangle on the roster? I don't know, but I'm gonna say those are my five. Takeda, Ermac, Lee Mei, Serena, and Reptile. Those would have been super dope. I got Fujin. I wanted Fujin to be in the game. So, yeah, those are my choices. If there was one character you had the ability to remove from the MK11 roster, who would it be? Um, without a doubt, Robocop. I feel like he's just completely useless. I mean, I feel like, you know, MK11 is played by, you know, majority of a younger crowd. I'm not sure a lot of you guys know who Robocop is, but he was really popular back in, like, my mom's day. Um, and he, I mean, I just don't, he, he doesn't really have the best fighting style either. So I feel like I would totally remove Robocop, that or Rambo. We have so many characters like Rambo and MK11 already. Um, so I feel like Rambo or Robocop, they are just pretty useless to me i'm really curious to see who you guys would remove from the roster um so make sure you guys leave a comment and let me know who you would remove from the roster but my top two i feel like would be rambo and robocop because like why like why like they both use guns there's so many characters in this game that use guns i feel like they were just like mm, fuck it let's just put them in so <laughs> What is your favorite Mortal Kombat game? I feel like Mortal Kombat X is my favorite game. Um, obviously, Mortal Kombat 11's graphics are 10 times better. They, I mean, the game is beautiful all in all, but fighting-wise, gameplay-wise, I feel like MKX was just super fast-paced. Like, it really kept you on your toes. Um, it was just, I don't know, it's just way more fun to me. I don't know why. I, I just feel like it's just because of the gameplay. I mean... You know, I feel like MK11 is very, like, slow-paced. It can be anyways, but if I had to pick between all the Mortal Kombat games, I've only played three of them, but I would say MKX was just the most fun to me. Um, so, yeah, MKX takes the win. Did you have a good birthday? Yeah, I actually really did have a really fun birthday. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I just turned... 23 on the 18th of July and yeah I mean I did a lot um my one of my really good friends uh and I decided to do a joint birthday this year since our birthdays are very close so um we went on a party bus to Charlotte which is a big city I live live near and the party bus was super lit we all got so fucked up it was absolutely insane good thing none of us drove and um 
the following weekend, we did like a lake day. So we were on the boat and we were just chilling, just out in the sun, enjoying the weather. And then on like the day of my actual birthday, I had a small get together at my house. Me and a couple of my closest friends went to get sushi for dinner. And then, of course, you know, we went out afterwards. So, yeah, I did a lot. It was super fun. Probably was my most lit birthday I've had yet. But, um, yeah, my birthday was very fun. Thank you so much for asking. What do you think the next NetherRealm Studios game is going to be? Um, there's a lot of rumors that it's going to be a Marvel game. I am a huge Marvel fan. They, superhero movies are by far my favorite movies to watch. Um... So if it is the Marvel game, I would be more than happy to buy it, play it, stream it. Um, there was a leak about some of the roster that is going to be in the Marvel game. Um, I like the majority of the characters in there too, but it, they're just rumors. But I think it might be a Marvel game. I think it might be a fighting game, very on brand. And I am so excited. I can't wait. I'm very impatient. So if and whenever they release this Marvel game, I will definitely pre-order and probably be the biggest fan there is of it because I do love Marvel so much. So hopefully it's a uh, Marvel fighting game. But uh, if not, we'll just see. Um, I'm really hoping it's not another Injustice. I haven't played any of the Injustice the games. Um, I think I really like the brutality of mortal Kombat games so <laughs> um but we'll see i don't think it'll be brutal if it's a marvel game because i don't think the um you know the creators would like to see like their marvel characters being brutally beaten to death like and murdered so um but whatever it is i'm down to play so yeah i'm excited and impatient what character in the MK11 roster do you want to start playing with next? I've said this a couple times. I really want to start using Rain. Um, I have tried taking him into the training room. Um, it's just one of those things I'm going to have to just like devote time to practice um, in the training room with him. I just haven't really had time to learn a new character whenever I play Mortal Kombat 11. I'm always just recording, so... Um, but yeah, Rain's super cool. He's one of my favorite characters in the whole franchise anyways. So I would love to play with him. And I said this in another video of mine, but his, um, default skin is my favorite skin. So I would for sure be rocking that. And if you guys do want to see some Rain gameplay, just let me know. He's going to be like one of the very first male fighting characters that I've used. Of course, I know how to use Scorpion because everyone knows how to use Scorpion. But, um, and also could you guys... <laughs> please think of some like clever variation names because lately I just pick the most inappropriate names and I completely forget about the fact that I have like 12 year olds watching my videos so um not that you guys care I mean Gen Z is freaking insane anyways but um <laughs> so I really want to use Rain so he is who I would play with next of course Okay, so those are pretty much all the questions. Um, so I'm just gonna finish whooping Shinnok's ass and then I am going to let Melina's character ending play and I will meet you guys at my outro time card. Overcome with exertion, Melina collapsed and felt her soul gliding through the ether. She awoke in an incubation chamber. Nearby were countless others, each containing an exact... Melina found she could read each being's mind and they hers. They quickly realized the benefit of so many fierce warriors sharing one mind. As they plotted revenge on their enemies, 
The architect of the Molina's awakening laughed quietly. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's brand new video. It was a bit different than what you're used to seeing on my channel, but you know, I've been saying for a while that I'm gonna get a Q&A up because you guys have a lot of questions for me. Um, but if you wanna know more stuff, please feel free to DM me on Instagram. As a matter of fact, my Instagram is on the screen right now. It is MikeyMK11. It is the first link in the description, or if you want to, you can click on my channel in the bottom right-hand corner of my channel banner. There is a link that will take you to my Instagram there as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Cutie outro, Mike!